literally the sales this year are driving my bank account crazy. I literally just finished filming a luxury sales haul and I'm still shopping, I'm still buying stuff. I mean, I'm not keeping everything because I bought them from Netto Porter and Matches Fashion, which don't actually have stores. So I have to buy them and try them on. I don't think they're gonna be out by the time this video comes out, but when they do, I would put a link somewhere here for you to go and check it out. MyTheresa.com were having sales on Jacquemus, and I think this was a very specific one. I could be wrong, but I feel like it was one of the private sales that they do. So if you shop from MyTheresa every now and again, you get invited to do their private sales and Sometimes they do 40% off or 50% off on a specific item. So at the time they were doing 40% off of Jack Moore's item. And the bag that I actually want, I'm going to put a bag here. This is the bag that I really, really want. I want to see this bag on sale. Somehow no one wants to put it on sale, but I need this bag on sale so I can purchase it because I really want that. Now, FYI, I have never purchased anything from Jack Moore's before. It's a brand that I've been watching and I've always felt like I would love to own one or two items from them, but I've never actually gone ahead and bought it. I feel like it's because so many people have it, especially on social media. If you watch social media, it's crazy. Everyone has a Jacquemus bag in every kind of color that exists. And sometimes when something gets saturated, it's just, it's like I've had my fill of it. I don't need it anymore because you guys are feeding me with it. And I feel the same way about the Jody bag as well. It's a bag that I've tried on many times and I've thought about buying it. And I, I, each time I go on social media, I'm like, no, I don't need it because you guys are giving me everything that I need with a bag. That doesn't make any sense, but that's literally how I feel about certain items when I see them a lot. However, lately, the prices of Jacquemus have been going up and I've said, you've been binging on this bag, so you might as well go ahead and purchase it because it's not gonna get cheaper. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming every week and supporting me. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Odette and I do weekly fashion and lifestyle videos. And on my channel, we discuss everything from affordable fashion all the way to luxury and we discuss lifestyle as well. If these are the kind of videos that you like to watch, then definitely consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I release a video. When I saw it on sale, I was like, this is a sign. This is a sign that I need to get it because this is the cheapest I'll ever find it brand new because everything is going up. So I saw two yellow bags and the first one is this bag. What's this one called? It's probably not a long one, but I've forgotten what it is. Anyway, it's this bag. It's this bag and I paid about 300 and something pounds for this bag. It retails for about five or 600. I know a couple of years ago, and when I say a couple, I mean two years ago, this bag was retailing for 300, but now it's on sale for about that price. Anyways, this bag, love 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 it it's a yellow bag i don't have a yellow bag in my collection i've been thinking of getting one i did think about the chanel one but when i saw this one i was just like why get the chanel when you can have this you have other chanel bags you don't need every single color of bag from chanel you can get it from other stores so i saw this and i felt like it was a sign from god himself i know leave god out of it but it was a sign from god himself that i don't need to get that chanel bag i need to get this one and it's just um this that magnet is on quite strong oh wow literally doesn't want to come out okay it's opened so it's literally this bag and it's just this much um it's a lot smaller than what i thought it was I'm trying to think if I, I've seen Jacquemus bags in store before. I've tried it on maybe once or twice, but I haven't really paid attention to it. So this, just to give you an indication, just about fits my phone and probably can fit. I don't know, you know, I've lost my wallet. I don't know where it is, but it can fit a card holder for sure and some keys. Just for reference, you can see that this is my power bank. It's a massive one. I need a smaller power bank, I know, because it's just making traveling now a problem. So my power bank can go inside, but it cannot close because the bag, and I'm gonna show you this in a second, but the bag is wide at the bottom here, but it's smaller here. So, and by the time you close it, it becomes even smaller. So the top part is literally the problem with this bag. And it is creasing a little bit of this. Yeah, it's definitely creasing a little bit of the side because I can I can feel my phone poking out here because my phone is a massive phone. It comes with a strap. This is what it looks like. So definitely a great strap, great length. You can lengthen it or shorten it if you want. What I love about the bag is the fact that it has a top handle and it has a long strap. So I can wear it crossbody but I can also wear it top handle, just like this if I wanted to go out in the evening. And I do love this shade of yellow. I'm glad that it's not like a sunshine, bright, bright yellow, because I think that would struggle to go with a lot of things in my closet, but this yellow is a perfect yellow. It's very much similar to the one from Chanel. 
So this is what this one looks like. I'm gonna show you the second one. Second one is this bag. It's also a yellow color, but it is bigger. It's bigger and that is why I wanted to check it out. I can put my phone inside and as you can see, it's literally swimming inside, there's so much space. Let me go ahead and put my power bank inside and there's so much more that can go in, into this bag so no need to put more stuff for now i can show you a separate one this is what this looks like it closes very easily not a problem at all obviously it's just a shoulder bag that you wear so with this one you don't have any buckle or anything but you do have a magnetic closure that just closes like this this one as well it's quite magnetic but it does have the is it a buckle or whatever do you call it you do see the metal things that can clip there so I'm gonna hold them side by side so we can do a direct comparison. The first obvious thing is the handles. This just comes with the shoulder strap and this one has a top handle and a long strap that you can allows you to wear it crossbody or allows you to wear it on your shoulders if you wanted to. So you can wear this bag three types of way. You can wear this bag only one or two. I guess you can wear it on your shoulder and you can hold it in your hand as well. I guess obviously this one is bigger than the other one so you can fit a lot more stuff inside that's a massive pro for me this has a pocket at the back I don't see what the use of that is this doesn't have I would not use this one anyway because it's really tightly stitched there so it doesn't do anything for me the other obvious part about the two bags is that they are different colors so this one is more of a sunshine yellow and this is more of a do they call this a canary yellow i forgot i feel like they call this a canary i could be wrong but it's more of a muted or darkish yellow i prefer this color than this one because i feel like this i can wear it with a lot more clothing items in my wardrobe it would look amazing with brown like oh my god i mean look at the color of my skin it would go so well with brown I guess, yes, you go well with brown too, but I feel like you go well better with brown. Um, also, the materials are different. So this is made up of smooth leather. I would try and find a fabric, whether it's calf skin or lamb skin. I don't know if, it, if, if it's even that much, but this leather is very smooth. And so I know if I put my lipstick or makeup on this, it would easily come out. This leather, on the other hand, is very texturized. Like it has texture to it. And I'll zoom in so you can have a closer look, but there's so much texture to this and i know that if my lipstick or makeup was to go on this it's not something you can wipe off because i can feel the texture it feels a bit more fabric i don't know what it's made out of but literally if something spill on this i can't just wipe it off it would take a while for it to come out so that would be my biggest concern with this bag versus this one this is an easy peasy bag leather is smooth anything spills on it you can wipe it off this no absolutely not if something stains on it you need it cleaned out basically so that's just something to keep in mind now with those two things in mind the pros and cons of both bags for me the biggest con of this one is the size only my phone can fit inside and my wallet is that enough i don't know i typically like something that's a little bit bigger this is definitely smaller than my chanel mini and as far as size goes i think my chanel mini would be as small as I'm willing to go. I always carry my power bank with me wherever I go and that can fit in my Chanel Mini as well, but it can't fit inside this one. So I guess a workaround that is to get a smaller power bank. I don't know, maybe. Now that I look at this bag against my skin tone, I'm like, this is actually, this is actually really cute. It's not that bad. Um, I don't know guys, you guys, I really need, I, I really do need your help. I can't keep both of them. If I could, I would. Yeah, I would if I could, but I can't keep both of them. It's not a smart use of my money. Not that any of these is. So definitely let me know in the comment section which one you think I should keep. Ugh. I am genuinely conflicted. A lot of times when I come here, I'm always leaning towards one thing. Initially, when I was coming on here, I was leaning towards this bag. But now that I see this one, especially in the monitor and especially with everything that I'm wearing, everything that I have going on, this bag just complements my outfit. I'm, I'm liking this one. This is a tough one. This is really a tough one. So I need your help. So this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching to this point. If you enjoyed it, definitely go ahead and give us a like. It helps with the algorithm and lets YouTube know that this is a fun video to watch. If you have friends or family that enjoy this kind of content, definitely share it with them. So that's it for the video. If you're not done watching my video, I'm going to leave two recommendations for you to watch. One of it is going to be my luxury handbag collection. And the other one is going to be my top five unpopular opinions about luxury fashion as well as lifestyle in general. Thank you so much for watching to this point and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.